at all. Okay, it looks like it's back up. Sorry about that. And we're back. Are we all still here? Everyone's still here? Looks like it. Kind of. Maybe. And welcome back, everyone. Okay. See, but I was just- I was just saying, like, if I was this girl, come alone, tell no one. I would so not do that. I would totally, like, tell somebody where I was going. I don't know. Someone I trusted to, like, be like, watch my back or something. And maybe have them, like, stake out the house to, like, watch what was going on. But yeah. Anywho. It's not Omi. She would never try to scare Yo with such a mean-spirited prank. Also, by the way, to anyone who's just entering the stream because of any new notifications, we are just in the middle of the stream. It just went down. So, yeah. I gotta look into that. I don't know why my streams are, like, going down in the middle of them. It seems to happen more at nighttime. Uh, I have the achievement of binge watching all of One Piece within the span of two weeks from my high school year, and I'm still caught up. Um, uh, what the hell? Wait, high school year. Was it finished by then? Isn't One Piece still going? How could you finish it? Helpo? Helpo, what? I still have to watch One Piece though. I've only actually managed to watch maybe up to like 20 episodes. Internet always oh, doing. I know. I know. It's always doing that. I'm not sure. I'm not sure what I could do in that case. Like, I mean, I can... I can, like, call my ISP and be like, what the fuck's going on? That's what I mean. I'm still caught, caught up. Or you're still looking, you're still watching it. It's the, it's the anime that never ends. Um, did I read this? I think I did. Anxiety has brought Yo almost to tears. Her mind isn't made to deal with something like this. Who is using Omi's phone and promising to reveal Fuminori's secrets? Who? Yo desperately wants advice from Koji, from anyone. She even starts to dial into Koji's cell, but a sudden suspicion stops her. The sender might be somewhere nearby, watching her at this very moment. A cold chill runs down her spine as she looks furtively around the cafeteria. Come alone. Tell no one. The lifeless characters on the screen are like a knife against her throat. However, Yo clutches her phone and forces her heart to stop pounding. Isn't this cowardice exactly what she hates most about herself? Doesn't she want to know what she's capable of? Doesn't she want to do more than sit and wait? Yeah, but do it smart, Yo. Do it smart. Don't be stupid. Yo realizes that her hand is shaking. How easy it would be to just give in to her cowardice to convince herself that Omi and Fuminori are beyond her reach. That is what she truly wants, even if it means abandoning dignity and loyalty. She wants to flee from the unknown. But she also knows that even escape is beyond her. Yo understands herself well. She knows that no matter how far she runs, regret and self-loathing will consume her after everything else has fallen apart. In the end, Yo is unable to un overcome her cowardice alone. She lacks both the willpower and the courage to run. Wait, so Yo- did Yo go? What did that mean? Oh, she went. She went. She went alone! The afternoon silence is somehow forbidding. For is that right? Forbidding? I don't know if that's right. Bro, if I had a text that said come alone, I'd call all my homies to get strapped somehow. I was just saying the same thing. I would tell someone I was going here. I would probably get a friend to like watch from a distance. So I would make it like a semblance of coming alone so it wouldn't tip off the person. But I would have probably someone watching my back at least. Like nearby. Somehow. I don't know. Like get binoculars or something to watch from afar. Like, do it smart. A stink is in the air. The stink of garbage left out to rot. Even this perfectly normal residential neighborhood seems ominous to Yo in her current state. She feels like she's standing in the middle of a necropolis, as if everyone in the houses around her is dead. <laughs> we all pack in heat, Yo. No one dying today. <laughs> no. Yo pushes her fear aside and presses the buzzer on the Sakisaka house's front gate. Fuminori wasn't in class today. Is he home? He couldn't have sent those awful messages, could he? She doesn't even want to consider the possibility, so she forces the unwelcome thought from her mind. There's no response from the intercom. 
Yo doesn't know, of course, that Omi stood in the same spot one week ago, staring at the silent intercom with the same confusion that Yo is experiencing now. She, however, is not forced to wait as Omi was. The phone in her pocket rings, catching her off guard. It's another text message from Omi's phone. Come in. The door is open. Yo looks around quickly, a shiver running through her as she realizes that she's being watched. <sighs> Searching fearfully for her observer, Yo spots movement out of the corner of her eye. On the second floor of the Sakisaka house, a tightly drawn window curtain just fluttered. The person who sent the message is inside the house. Only now does Yo realize that every other window has its storm shutters closed. No matter what happens inside, no one will ever know. This time, she nearly gives in to the intense urge to flee, but the terror she feels towards her invisible watcher is stronger and will not permit her to turn her back upon the open window. If I was that scared of being, like, watched, I would not, like, want to approach the house. Japanese people don't have gun rights, huh? Lol. Actually, I don't really know, but... Yeah, I would probably say no. Like, they're not as free as America. I mean, it's the same here in Canada, I think. Not that I really know much about gun rules here. I just know it's a lot harder to get a gun here. She has nowhere to run. <laughs> Burka. <laughs> Yo's burst into tears, unable to take a single step. The phone in her hand rings again, demanding that she enter. Like, get in here, bitch. <laughs> she steps through the gate. When she enters the house, an overwhelming stench assaults her nostrils. The house is dark, even though it is in the middle of the day. Chuminori must be out, as the shoes are not in the vestibule. However, Yo catches sight of a different pair stuffed behind the shoe cupboard. They look familiar, so she pulls them out of the shadows for a closer look. As soon as she recognizes them, her mind tries desperately to deny reality. They are identical to Omi's favorite shoes. Yo has seen her wearing them many times before, but that doesn't mean Omi is here, she tells herself. They might belong to someone else. Is this a scary novel? It kind of is a little bit. Like, uh, if if you look at the like tags associated with this game, it's got horror aspects in it. So yeah, like there's some there's a bit of violence and stuff like that in it, and and maybe 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 some H scenes, but <laughs> jump scares, uh. I wouldn't call them jump scares, but yeah, it's like it's like more like an atmospheric kind of scare, because like like with the music and the sound effects. Um, let's see, they may belong to someone else, someone who brought the same shoes from the same store. There's no way Omi could be here, is there? In a sudden flash of clarity, Yo presses the most frequently used speed dial button on the phone, still in her tightly clenched fist. The phone dials Omi's number. It takes only a second for the signal to reach the nearest relay station, and then... Oh god, it's horrifying. A familiar ringtone echoes through the house. The unmistakable sound of Omi's phone. That just sounds like a generic phone. How could she recognize it? <laughs> it's coming from the second floor. So, well, I guess, I guess it startled her the, for the fact that she dialed it and a phone suddenly rang out from inside the same house. Uh, someone must still be up there in the room with the moving curtains. Omi's phone rings for just a few moments, and then it stops, as whoever is holding it realizes Yo's intentions. For the first time, Yo feels the definite presence of her formless guide. She gathers her courage and calls out into the house, but there's no response. Whoever it is must not want to be seen. Swallowing hard, Yo walks down the hallway to the staircase. Maybe it's Omi. Maybe it's Fuminori. Surely it's just the two of them playing a prank on her. Koji might even be here with them. Yo's mind fills with, uncomfort with comforting images of her friends. She needs to believe that there is still hope. Otherwise, she could not take another step. Each <laughs> novel. <laughs> 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 Only a little bit, okay? I didn't, I, didn't, I didn't realize it when I started playing this game here on stream that it, it was going to have scenes like that in there, so... But uh, we're but moving on from that. I, I am trying to censor those those parts of the game. 
As she climbs the stairs one at a time, Yo calls out in a voice choked with tears. When they see her sobbing, they'll probably laugh at her. Let them. It would be the happiest moment of her life. She just wants this torment to end. She's just like convincing herself that this is just a joke. <laughs> Show us the sauce Um, She tries to move faster, but her trembling legs will not let her. With each agonizing second that passes, she begs for release from this nightmare. Are we going to see Saya? We're going to see Saya. After climbing for what seems an eternity, Yo finds herself standing in the second floor hallway. No sound greets her. It's only the gloom, brimming with silent malice. It's so quiet. Oh, me too. Oh, me too. She shuffles forward, calling out in a weak voice. <laughs> The door in front of her is half open. It must lead to the room that overlooks the front gate. Yo watches helplessly from a corner of her mind as her body sings. <laughs> I am not legend. Thank you so much for the follow. Really appreciate it. <laughs> that would have been funny if that happened at a more like opportune moment. That's, that would have scared me. But uh, anyways. Uh, Yo watches helplessly from the corner of her mind as a body seeming to move of its own volition, slowly opens the door. What are we gonna see? Oh, it's the horrifying bedroom. The room is empty. The damp, stinking air clings to Yo's skin. She's at her limit, unable to take a single step more. Her spirit has been utterly crushed. Perhaps... This is the moment her tormentor